Sky Fishing for Skyfish. What an interesting name. Sometimes I think I should make a video titled How to Be a Man Eater for Beginners, but I don't because I know everyone will jump down my throat about it. But the fact of the matter is that I constantly hear from my girlfriends, Maya, how do you have so many men? How do you have them so obsessed with you? How do you get like the special treatment from them? And the thing is, it's really simple and it is completely impossible if you are desperate for love. I think that it's not a thought, it's a fact. Women are conditioned to believe that we have to be perfect for men. We have to be presentable, we have to be helpful, we have to make their lives easy, we have to do their laundry and cook them dinner and rub their shoulders and like, oh my God, stop, kill me. Okay, so I don't know what era you're talking about, but modern women are definitely not conditioned to be perfect for men. It's quite literally the opposite, if you think about it, right? And a lot of guys can report this experience. This isn't a new thing. The reality is you're taught that you need control. That's why being a man-eater sounds good. Because if you're not desperate for love, now you're getting some weak guy to give you his whole life. And that feels good temporarily. That's what you're taught to want. So you see that and you think that's what you want and you experience it. And then those same women that claim they want to be man-eaters still fall for the guy that they really want to chase. So this is just classic female cope. So let's keep going. Beat me to death with a blunt object. Like, I will not be that girl. See, right away, that, I mean, <laughs> this is the classic situation, right? She doesn't want to be that girl. She wants to be the dominant one because that's what she's taught. So it's a little bit ironic how she's claiming that women are taught to be there for the guy, when in reality, she's a product of the indoctrination that women need to be in charge of men, right? She doesn't want to be that girl. So instead, she wants to be a man-eater, I guess. Even though she's not going to be happy doing that, she's going to be happy being that girl, but she has decided actively that, that is not what she wants to do because men are bad, evil, whatever the indoctrination is, right? We all know what it is, but I'm just going to point it out vaguely so people don't start dissecting it and, and pretending like this has to be some super specific idea. Why? Because men need to feel useful. If I'm doing everything for him first, I'm eventually going to become resentful and I've done it before, learned my goddamn lesson. Okay, so first off, yes, men need to feel useful, but not by chasing you, okay? They need to feel useful by going out and bringing home stuff. That's their goal. That's their mission. Guys go out, they bring stuff home. Women take care of stuff at home, right? Women care about homes. Men don't. Men cannot. Men can live in multiple different places, doesn't need to be the perfect clean environment, especially in the short term. Women are much more sensitive to space like that. So this is natural things that we don't have to go and do a scientific study on to understand. We look at our moms, our sisters, our brothers and our fathers, we can quickly put together the story, right? But second, I am making it impossible for him to engage with his masculinity. Having a man is like training a puppy. Okay, and I love dogs, I love dogs, but there are bad dogs because they've been trained poorly. Yeah, so this is because you go for the type of guy that you don't like. You're forcing yourself to go for a guy that you don't actually like, that's why. And the guys you actually like, you don't go for those guys because they're bad guys, or at least you go for them for the short term, but you don't wanna hold on to them and do what's necessary to keep them. That's actually what's going on here. It's the same with men, unfortunately. Like there's some men who just come into the world like, you know, bad, but there are most men who have all of the necessary resources to be good men, but they had bad women training them or they had mothers who were enablers or they had, you know, just a girlfriend who like let them get away with too much I will never, ever let a badly trained man into my house, or my heart, or my bed, ever. How much you want to bet that it's already happened? Now she's learned her lesson after, and now she's going to start dictating how it's going to go. This is the most classic story of all time. I wonder how well it's going to go for her after this point. And that requires them to have jobs and expectations and understand boundaries, right? Like you can't get away with that with me. Try it with someone else. 
but I know what I'm worth and I know what you want. You guys all know what you're worth. That's the funny part. All girls, they, they pretty much all say the same script. I know what I'm worth. You don't dictate your own value. The outside world does. I don't dictate my own value. The outside world always will do that, okay? Now, you can navigate that. You can finesse that a little bit, right? You can inflate your value. Maybe someone will bite on it. It's like selling a car, right? Maybe, maybe you can sell your car for the outrageous amount that you want for it because some person is desperate and they want that exact car. But most of the time, you're going to be subject to the market, okay? The market is dictated by what? The average, condition, demand, et cetera, supply and demand, right? So no, you don't get to dictate your own value. This is just hyper illogical, but girls are so rational that they think genuinely they can dictate their own value. They know what they're worth, okay? You don't. You don't dictate that. Men do. They're the buyers. You're the seller in this case. Which is to be better. I will make his life better. How? This is always the magical question. How are you going to make his life better? Let's see if she gets into it. Because I am not easy to love. <sighs> I am fulfilling to love. Okay, so, and this is what girls do when they're trying to set up this fantasy game that you're supposed to run through and then that gives you your quote unquote fulfillment after you've been trained your whole life by the system to meet up to some sort of arbitrary standard set by whatever body. And then you get the gold star at the end and now you're a good boy and now you won't be in the doghouse tonight. And honestly, I'm quite sick of this aspect in society now where now girls think that this is how they're supposed to train men. I mean, what kind of dog do you have to be to actually buy into this? Like if you're a guy and you run through these hoops and you're happy with yourself, congratulations. The system has now officially poisoned you, okay? It's, it's never been in the natural order of things for us to go through some sort of arbitrary process created for us, get to the end of some race that we were really never intended to play, that some guy on his throne invented, and now we have to feel happy about ourselves because now we can finally get a pat from the king, right? In this case, I'm talking about the old days, uh, hypothetically speaking, of some king that's setting up society in a way to basically make it so that you're constantly chasing the carrot on the stick. I mean, think about modern work. Modern work is no different. You have an HR department that does exactly this, right? They figure out that formula of how to put that carrot on the stick so you will perpetually chase it all while making the company as many dollars as possible while limiting the amount of dollars that you make. Because if you make all the money, they don't get the profit, right? And I'm not saying it's necessarily a bad cycle, but to paint it like you're some super fulfilled person because you go through the steps and go through the motions and work for somebody else and provide infinite value for someone else and they're using that to forward themselves, that doesn't really make much sense. There's no... There's no independence about that. Your life at that point doesn't belong to you. I fundamentally have an issue with that. I think guys need to have more independence and find a way to live life on their own terms versus always living for somebody else. Because if you work a job, there is a part of your day where you are working for somebody else. That's just the reality. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes it's necessary and sometimes it is a good long-term solution for some people, but ultimately... The truth is, you don't own that time. That time belongs to somebody else, okay? In this case, your whole life will belong to your woman if you're just going to allow her to set the, the arbitrary rules and you're going to walk through them, jump through the hoops, get to level 10, and then you win the game, right? Do you ever win the game or is there a new level that opens up? At that point, you're just playing a perpetual video game. I don't know. I just have a serious issue with this. I'm the kind of woman who will make you a better man because I will not accept less from you. If you're the type of guy that needs a woman to push you like this woman's claiming to, you have your own problems, man. You're never going to be happy. I'm just going to be honest with you. If your woman's your driver, you don't really have that visceral grunt in your life. Like you don't have a true purpose, okay? Guys that are only driven by women exclusively, they're always lost in life. That's just the truth. I understand the drive for women. I get it. You know, there's always going to be a portion of our drive that comes from, I want to get whatever woman, whether she's attractive or smart or whatever, whatever, right? Many, sure, it exists in the male psyche, right? But this idea that your sole purpose is just woman, you're screwed. And what you'll find 
is there are two types of men. There are the men who are so thirsty for that that they will burn the world down for you. And there are men who will be repulsed by that. I don't want a man who would be repulsed by me expecting better of him. Yeah, well, you know what the funny thing is, is imagine being home and having your, I don't know, having your woman, wife, girlfriend, whatever you want to call it, She's like your grade four, grade five, old elementary school teacher. You know, when you're a young kid and you're in elementary school and you have that 60 year old teacher who's constantly like, she's never going to give you that much validation really because she's so tired of being a teacher. She's going to be really strict with you or whatever. That's what it's like now coming home. If your woman acts like this, I mean, it's, it's pathetic. So yeah, you're going to be the dominant the guy in your house is going to be submissive to you. And sure, that's the dynamic you want. Okay, you can have it. Any guys that watch this channel, I would hope by this point that you're not the type that you want to be submissive to a woman who's going to put you through this type of challenge. This is not her making you better, guys. This is her trying to control your life. That's what this is. It's blatantly the case. It's nothing to do with boundaries, this or that. It's her simply trying to ensure her security from you by controlling you and putting the boundaries on you of what you can or can't do. And that you always need to be better. You don't need that. If you don't have your own motivation, like I said, you're screwed. And you should not either. I know so many women, my own mother was this way where she was so desperate for love. Like, and I mean desperate. I mean, she would throw her kids by the wayside to get a scrap of affection or validation from a man. And men, they're desperate in a similar way. And I think women largely fail to understand that. But like, what do you think two desperate people are going to do together? Yeah, so I agree that there has to be priorities. But the nature of the feminine, right? It wants and needs love. Okay, that's the nature of the feminine. We as men, we should want love. We shouldn't need love. Because our primary mission in our lives fundamentally, is to provide something. Our fulfillment needs to come from that. If we don't get that, there will always be a void. And this is just the reality. This is how we're designed, built. You could even argue by the creator, by God, however you want to spiritually put this together, right? There is a deep desire in us to be, and she said herself, useful, but useful in the sense of creating value, not being useful to a woman and essentially being subservient to her and make sure that we provide her fantasy or turn her fantasy into a reality. That's not the kind of value. And a lot of guys go down this path where they make that their primary mission. And a lot of times they end up extremely unfulfilled, right? You need to want to pursue creating value, okay? For something greater than just a woman. It has to be for a greater purpose. So this idea of, oh, well, my mom was super desperate for love. She put us by the side. Well, that's not right either, obviously. But... Then again, where's, where's dad, right? There's more to the story here. Where's dad? If she's so desperate for validation from men, where's dad at? They're going to embarrass themselves and each other. You cannot be desperate and expect him to, to solve that for you. Okay, well, don't be desperate. It has nothing to do with not being feminine, right? You can still be feminine and not be desperate. I think you're just, I hate saying this to people, because people throw this out all the time, but this girl has obviously some level of, of trauma. She's trying to do the opposite of what mother did. And now she's going to face the opposite side, where it's the opposite extreme. Maybe there's a middle area, in this case at least, a little bit of gray area here. Why does it have to be from one extreme to the next? It will not happen. You have to find the worth within yourself. And then you have to understand that he needs a job and you can be that job <laughs> like i said if you guys walk into this trap you are going to be miserable you can be the enrichment exercise in his enclosure with no shame disagree with me if you want but i walk my talk baby and it shows it shows so much that you have to make a video about it on the internet well look i wish her luck but I think I've said enough about this. This idea that a girl has to be the one. Like girls can't even control their emotions consistently over the course of a month. They cannot do it. Okay, They have a very hard time with it. And sure, reasonably so, let's say. 
So what makes you think now that a woman can set up arbitrary, like, arbitrary challenges for a man to run through and have those be genuinely positive? I, I just don't see a world where this is consistently possible. So, and that's me being nice about it, by the way. I can phrase that a lot worse, but I'll leave it at that. If you like this video, like and subscribe. If you want to see more of my private content, don't forget to check the link in the description below.